Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to go my review of SummerSlam 2013. Starting off the evening we we'll go to our first match of the night. It is a Ring of Fire match. It is Kane versus Bray Wyatt. Number one I thought this was a great opening matchup for SummerSlam 2013. Back and forth matchup between Kane and Bray Wyatt with Kane keeping the pace of the match. Kane hits a sidewalk slam on Wyatt in the middle of the ring. Kane then hits multiple choke slams on Wyatt in the middle of the ring as well. Harper and Rowan are ringside. They end up somehow getting into the ring and attacking Kane. But Wyatt ultimately hits his signature sister Abigail on Kane. Pins him for the three. And your winner of the match is Bray Wyatt. Hats off to Bray Wyatt for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Damian Sandow versus Cody Rhodes. I thought this was an okay matchup, back and forth matchup between Sandow and Rhodes with Sandow keeping the pace of the match. Rhodes hits a muscle buster for a near fall. Rhodes then hits a springboard drop kick on Sandow. Rhodes then hits a disaster kick for a near fall. And then Rhodes ultimately hits his signature crossroads on Damian Sandow, pins him for the three, and your winner of the match is Cody Rhodes. Hats off to Cody Rhodes for getting the win in that matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Alberto Del Rio versus Christian for the World Heavyweight Championship. I thought this was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Del Rio and Christian with Del Rio keeping the pace of the match. Del Rio ends up hitting a devastating enziguri on Christian. And Del Rio ultimately applies an armbar on Christian. And your winner of the match by submission and still World Heavyweight Champion at that time is Alberto Del Rio. Hats off to Alberto Del Rio for getting the win in that matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is Natalia versus Brie Bella. I thought this was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between Natalia and Bella with Natalia and Brie Bella both exchanging in the middle of the ring. Natalia was keeping the pace of the match. Brie ultimately hits a leg drop on Natalia, but Natalia quickly applies her signature sharpshooter on Brie Bella. And your winner of the match by submission is Natalia. Hats off to Natalia for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar in a no disqualification matchup. Number one, I thought this was a great match. Back and forth matchup between Punk and Lesnar with Lesnar keeping the pace of the match. Punk hits an enziguri on Lesnar. Punk then hits an elbow drop off the top rope for a near fall on Lesnar. Punk then goes for a GTS, but Lesnar counters it with a Kimura. Punk then counters the Kimura with a triangle, and Lesnar breaks the hold. Punk then hits an elbow drop using a chair. Punk then hits a GTS on Lesnar for a near fall. Lesnar then gets up, goes for an F5, but Punk counters it into a DDT in the middle of the ring. Punk then applies an Anaconda Vice on Lesnar, but Lesnar breaks the hold. Punk then hits uh, Paul Heyman that was ringside. Lesnar then hits an F5 on CM Punk. Pins him for the three, and your winner of the match is Brock Lesnar. Hats off to Brock Lesnar for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Dolph Ziggler and Caitlin versus AJ Lee and Big E Langston. I thought this match was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between both teams with Big E keeping the pace of the match. But Ziggler ultimately hits the finish. Pins for the three. And your winner, winners of the match are Dolph Ziggler and Caitlin. Hats off to Dolph Ziggler and Caitlin for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is the main event of SummerSlam 2013. It is John Cena defending the WWE Championship against Daniel Bryan. I thought this was a great match as well. Back and forth matchup between Cena and Bryan with Bryan keeping the pace of the match. Cena hits a powerbomb on Bryan. It looked absolutely brutal. Brian then hits a uh, multiple yes kicks on Cena in the middle of the ring. Cena then hits a five knuckle shuffle on Brian in the middle of the ring. Cena then hits an AA on Brian for a near fall. Cena then applies an STF on Brian Danielson, but or Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan then counters it with a label lock. Cena then breaks the hold. Brian then hits a running knee on Cena, pins him for the three, and your winner of the match. And at that time. New WWE Champion is Daniel Bryan. 
After the match, though, Orton's music hits. He makes his way down to the ring, holding the Money in the Bank briefcase. He goes to enter the ring, but then he backs off. Triple H is still in the ring. Triple H, by the way, was a special guest referee in this matchup. Randy Orton pretty much backs away from the ring. Triple H is in the ring with Daniel Bryant. All of a sudden, Triple H then grabs Daniel Bryant, hits him with a pedigree. Triple H then sounds for the bell. Randy Orton cashes in. Orton then goes for the cover. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match and new world champion is Randy Orton. Couple of things I want to say about SummerSlam 2013, man, before I get out of here. Number one, it was a solid event from top to bottom. It really was. I mean, the opening matchup between Kane and Bray Wyatt in that Ring of Fire match, absolutely fantastic. And to see, you know, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan sitting ringside, you know, the Wyatt family, it was great to see that, man. Rest in peace to Brody Lee. Um, but it was, it was an awesome match to see, number one, to start out SummerSlam 2013. We get kind of the infamous Inferno match that we once had between Kane and The Undertaker. We kind of get the same thing between Kane and Bray Wyatt. Fantastic matchup. Hats off to Bray Wyatt for securing the win in that matchup. Uh, Damian Sandow versus Cody Rhodes. It was a decent matchup, but I kind of feel like Sandow was kind of carrying Cody Rhodes in this matchup, even though Cody did hit the crossroads and get the win. Del Rio versus Christian. It was a decent match at best. It really wasn't that great. Uh, CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar was a fantastic match, man, from top to bottom. Told a hell of a story. Obviously, both CM Punk and Brock Lesnar were both Paul Heyman guys. Uh, both Punk and Lesnar were pretty much under Paul Heyman's wing uh, throughout the majority of their careers. And to see both CM Punk and Brock Lesnar go at it, you know, face-to-face -face in the ring, absolutely fantastic matchup, and Lesnar ended up securing the win. Then we get to the main event. John Cena versus uh, Daniel Bryant. Fantastic match, man. And this was a part you know, of Daniel Bryant's career where Daniel Bryant was severely over. I mean, the fans gravitated towards Daniel Bryant, the whole yes movement. And uh, to see him win the championship initially, and then Randy Orton comes out and cashes in his money in the bank. Daniel Bryant gets a pedigree from Triple H. I mean, it told one hell of a story, man. And Randy Orton walks out of SummerSlam 2013 as the new world champion. As far as a rating for SummerSlam 2013, man, from 1 out of 10... I'm going to have to give SummerSlam 2013 a solid solid rating of a 7, man, if not 7.5. This was a really good SummerSlam. I'm not going to say it was the best SummerSlam of all time, but it absolutely was not the worst, man. So I'm going to have to give SummerSlam 2013 a solid 7.5 at best. But this is my review of SummerSlam 2013. I hope you guys are out there staying safe. Be careful and remember, stay classic. Peace.